over to you, Carden. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, it will be study the table below and answer the questions that follow. Let's make a study here. I see budget speech 2018 changes in indirect text. So expect questions along those lines, indirect or direct text. Now uh, we have indirect taxes, uh, carbon tax, um, estate duty, uh, tax on luxury goods. Uh, and then we have the other one, which is increase in tax rates. Uh, then it shows how these increase. The price of plastic bags increased by 50% to 12 cents per bag. And uh, that's a carbon tax increased by 25% for estate greater than 30 million. Okay. Well, so, so that's the study. Let's look at the questions. Which ministry or department is responsible for presenting or the presentation of the national budget speech to the parliament? That will be the national treasury or the department of finance or the ministry of finance. You can put it that way. Right. Name one form of direct tax uh, payable to state. Uh, that will be personal income tax. That's a good one. Capital tax, property tax, company tax. Now, why do we call this uh, direct tax? Um, I think if you look, if you compare, let's say, um, company tax or personal income tax with that, the difference is when you pay your personal income tax, you are paying directly, like you are making the payment for, uh, you know, uh, a tax on employment. employment. But when we look at that, you don't go out to the shop to say, I'm going to pay tax. You are actually going there to buy something. You're going there to buy milk. And as you buy the milk, uh, indirectly, you are paying tax. Uh, so you see, that's the difference between the two. Right. Briefly describe the term budget. Now, when you define the term budget, there are two main things that we um, expect to see. All right. The first one is revenue. So for you to, 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 to draw up a budget for, let's say even a simple one for a family, uh, the first thing you need to know is how much is the family earning for you to say, okay, we'll put this for food, this for that, this for accommodation and so on. Because if you don't have the revenue, it won't be uh, possible for you to tell how much should we spend on what. Uh, so for instance, you could say, okay, 10,000 is for rent and then uh, 4,000 is for groceries. Now, what if that particular family earns 6,000? So you see, you can't really budget for them if you don't know the income. So already you are budgeting 10,000 for accommodation, yet the family brings in only 6,000. So you'll have to budget depending on the income. So we all know where government gets their money from. Okay, there are many sources of income, but the main one is tax, tax revenue. So uh, the, the finance minister works with SARS. So SARS is collecting tax on behalf of the national treasury. And then SARS then hands over the money to the national treasury. And then uh, depending on the amount of money, the national treasury then uh, allocates these funds to different ministries, like Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, Ministry of all those things. Uh, each ministry will get funding and uh, that is determined by the income, the revenue that the government has. And uh, for that case, you will see that in, if, if the um, government doesn't have enough money, that's when uh, state debt will come in. They'll have to borrow uh, the, the, the rest. And you know they can borrow it from the general public through you know bonds. So the general public can purchase government bonds. And um, yes, they get paid with interest after some time. And uh, government can borrow from the IMF, government can borrow from the World Bank. And uh, you all know about this recent one. Uh, I can't remember the figure, but 
the South African government was given money by the IMF um, with regards to COVID-19. All right, so that's, uh, you know, so you, I want to see this term here, revenue, and I also want to see this term here, expenditure. So if you define a budget and you, you don't have these two terms, then it's, it's, uh, it won't be easy for us to say your definition is correct. So a budget is a document showing anticipated revenue. Uh, like you see here, the money will be spent from the 1st of April until the, but then uh, this thing is presented in March. So the revenue is anticipated. Uh, it's, it's not fully collected. So, you know, uh, there will be elements of um, estimation there as well and estimated expenditure for a specific period so in our case it's for one full year which is from 1 april to 31 march and we call it a fiscal year how will the increase in carbon tax on plastic bags benefit the economy right uh, due to the fact that you are paying 12 cents you know uh you you they they ask you do you need a plastic bag or not uh, in most cases you will see that um just because you're paying for it in some cases you would say no i don't want it because you just look at your items and then and you know that before this was introduced plastic bags were for free so now we have to pay for them so it kind of reduces the need to have it so people sometimes they go to the supermarkets with their bags already because they are avoiding to buy plastic bags yes it really happens you might think 12 cents is nothing but yeah let's say you're buying something for 100 rand and you only have 100 rand and you are not going to accept the the plastic bag because you can't afford it anyway right so it will reduce environmental pollution because you know what we do we then just throw it away so charging to use it to have it uh, will help reduce uh, environmental pollution the next reason is it will increase government revenue so this carbon tax is going to the government as simple as that right briefly describe the extent to which the government addresses economic equity um the south african government out upload the government for um, you know, there are systems that they have in place uh, to try and bridge the gap between the haves and the have-nots. So the budget addresses economic uh, equity by, the first one is redistributing wealth through a progressive income tax system, making higher income earners pay more tax than low income earners. And that is a way of redistributing income and wealth. Uh, providing most required free social services, e.g. education, primary health care, free tertiary education, provision of housing and utilities to the poorest parts of the community. The next one will be providing a platform for all gender and racial boundaries to be crossed. The budget failed to address economic equity by um, increasing VAT by 1%, affecting the poor in more serious way compared to other income groups that is very true introducing the carbon tax reduced the individual's disposable income and uh, company profits right so that's how but uh, the reason we're having two sides is um the question uh is is you you can go you know, uh, you can mention the, the, the good, you can mention the bad. So it's either you say you agree with the fact that uh, the, the government is addressing economic equity. Mm, I, I wouldn't go for this other part myself. I would go for these three. And so anyway, you need only two points in this case. Uh, but when it comes to economic equity in South Africa, of course, the gap is too big, but let's give credit to what the government is trying to do, uh, social grants and things like that, that is trying to bridge the gap. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.
Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.